let's look ahead to this weekend's game against Sunderland then, because whilst many here at Hull, this will be their third game in, in the space of just six days. Yeah. Um, you've had to sit and watch for, for the last week, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. No, it's been frustrating, but um, you know, it's been a weird feeling seeing two sets of teammates play against each other. But uh, you know, I thought they were two good, entertaining games, and you know, I thought Hull, you know, Hull, uh, you know, we can walk out with credit from what from what they've done, and obviously. Tottenham progressed in the two games. What's the feeling amongst the lads? Is it one of disappointment that despite two very good performances, ultimately you haven't been able to get anything from those two games? Or do you take a lot of pride from the two games? I think we you know, I think the lads can take a lot of pride from the two games. Tottenham are, you know, a great side and they've got great players and uh, great strength through their squad through both games. And um, you know, I think the whole City lads were, were brilliant over both over both games and obviously extra time as well. So you know, I think obviously disappointed, and as was the manager, but you can take great confidence from the two performances. I think. And what about Sutherland this weekend? Because of course they enjoyed a fantastic result in the in the Tyneway derby last week. Yeah, I think um, you know it's difficult for when a new manager comes in and he's obviously got a, a big batch of players, which so to speak aren't really you know aren't his. But um, you know, I think um, as soon as it goes into the big derbies, I think that can be sometimes a turning point of a, of a manager season but uh, you know they'll be in confidence but likewise so so are we. Is there an opportunity here for Hull City thinking maybe a case of after the Lord, Lord Mayor's share for Sunderland? Pardon? Is there an opportunity here for Hull City perhaps Sunderland coming down from, from such a great high last week? Yeah uh, I mean we're, we're on a on a big high as well so you know two teams you know looking to um, you know looking to nick points off each other and it Almost like six points, so to speak. Uh, Jake, apart from uh, you missing the Spurs game, you said to Richard, you, you talked about a run of games there. You've had that run of games. What's it done to your game? Uh, you know, I feel fit, which is a which is a nice, you know, it's a nice feeling to have as a young player. Um, you know, you get into a rhythm playing with, you know, with your teammates, and you know, you gel as a team and as a squad. So, you know, so far this season, uh, it's been good. And. You will have noticed, obviously, that Tom was getting a lot of plaudits picked out by Michael Owen again on the day last week. But I think those what Hull City a lot picked out your performances too. How have you felt that you've slotted into the Hull City way of things? Uh, to be honest, I haven't really. You know, the games have come thick and fast, so you haven't you haven't got too long to ponder on your last performance. You're looking forward to the next game. But um, you know, Tom Tom has been fantastic this season. Equally, looks very fit after after a good run and. Uh, you know, yeah, it's a pleasure to play alongside him again. When you came here and spoke to us at the start, you said about putting yourself in the shop window and developing yourself. Do you feel that that's, uh, that plan is uh, coming to fruition? I hope so, yes. Um, you know, the manager, you know, seems to be pleased with my performances at the minute and as at the minute I'm a whole city player and, I, you know, that's that's what I aim to do. Steve Bruce keeps saying, you made a great start to the season, nothing more, nothing's been achieved yet. What's he been like to play for? Yeah, brilliant. Um, <clears throat> obviously, well respected as a player, and obviously a, a widely well respected manager as well. Um, it was great to come and, you know, once I got the opportunity, he said he was interested. It was great to come and play under him. He's been brilliant. Uh, you know, it gives you the license to do, you know, what you want to do and what you feel you're good at. And um, you know, so far so good. And Tom's also been telling us about most of you being bulletin the tell for most of your time here. So I just wonder how you personally settling into this uh, unusual life in Hull? It's very different from, from London, but um, you know, I quite like I quite like being just outside and there's a lot of countryside which is nice and uh, a few of the lads golf and you know, we look, yeah, no, it's good. We've got a good set of lads here as well, which I think is, um, which hold us in good stead for the, for the season. So what do you do to entertain yourself away from training and from the games? I've just started to pick up my golf clubs again, so um, you know, we've got a good, like I said, we've got a good bunch of lads. Um, I think there's about four or five of us who are sort of into our golf, and, and uh, I'm going to start picking up a language as well. What's your handicap now? Uh, no comment. <laughs> my clubs, my clubs at the minute. So. <laughs> and uh, one final question for me, really, is what can Hull City achieve this season? Where do you think the Tigers will end? I think, as the, as the manager stressed earlier, you it's very early, um, you know. We've had a good start to the season, and but I think it's too early to start saying where we think we can be. I think we're, 
we're just happy taking game by game. But I personally, you know, being at a top four or five club, as you, as you want to call Tottenham, and, you know, playing against most teams, I don't think uh, Hull City got too much to fear, to be honest. OK. Uh, Jed, the manager mentioned a few weeks ago some of the great distances you come back during games. Is that something you've always been able to do? Is that quite natural, or do you have to work on it? Um, well, I think, like, like we stressed earlier, after a run of games, I've, you know, I feel I feel fit at the minute, and uh, you know, I don't really look at look at my running stats or whatever. But you know, it's, it's been brought to my attention that, that I've covered quite a lot of ground. But um, yeah, I think after you know, when you're enthusiastic and you're enjoying your football, I think that comes hand in hand.